everyone. Hope everybody's doing well and being safe and healthy and taking care of themselves and the people around you. Uh, I am going through my refrigerator and basically trying to make something out of what I got. The only thing I did step out and get today was this guy, Impossible Meat. So I found this guy at Gelson's. I think it's the only place that you can buy it, I believe, grocery store wise. I'm going to make a pretty traditional cheeseburger. The only difference is I'm gonna use the rest of these tater tots and we're gonna kinda stuff them in the burger to add a little extra, you know, crunchy goodness. Put two packets of the Impossible Meats inside this bowl. So I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Uh, about a tablespoon or so, maybe a little less, of garlic powder, a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of onion powder, do a generous portion of salt. By generous, I mean like two pinches. A pinch-ish and a little bit more of pepper. And we're gonna use our hands and we're going to essentially just Mix all the seasonings in the meat, about a palm size. You can make these as thick or as thin as you want. Uh, I typically like them thin because I can stack them and make like double doubles. You wanna shape them all approximately the same size so that you have an even cook on all the patties when you put them into the pan. Um, as far as cheese is concerned, you can use any plant-based cheese you like. My personal preference is one by Follow Your Heart. So I have a few slices left over of that. I'm gonna make a very simple special sauce. So it's just vegan A's. Again, follow your heart. Ketchup. Salt and pepper. And then I add a pinch of cumin. Sauce. So I added a teaspoon of coconut amino acid into the onions. So I've taken all the onions out of the pan. I'm going to now do a little drizzle of olive oil. Gonna lay these guys into the hot skillet. Salt and pepper on top. But remember, we already seasoned these, so you don't want to over season with salt and pepper. You don't want salty patties. I literally just put them face down in the cast iron pan and I let them warm up. But they also collected a little bit of what was left over in the pan, which is really yummy. So I just put a little bit of our house sauce on both the top and the bottom bun. Burger patty. Take some of the grilled onions. Actually, I'm going to put those on the top bun so that they stick to the sauce. And making double doubles. So I'm put another patty on top of that guy. Only one layer of cheese. Take these little guys. We're going to Smash them down a little bit, not too much. Put those on the top bun. Voila. There you go. 